How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you watched my I'm Back video, then you will have heard me say that I was doing a setup video in the coming weeks. Well, that day is today. We're gonna transform that setup there into one where I can record React videos, gaming videos, and anything else that I could possibly want to do. Now, at the minute, this setup is primarily done for studying as I've just finished my exams, as I said in that video as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a second monitor up on there. We are gonna get, move my Xbox and we're gonna just sort all the wires out because it's an absolute mess under there. So let's have a look at that right now. So this is what my setup looks like now. Uh, it's a plain old desk, plenty of space to get me uh, books down so I can study. Not really there at the minute. This is the second monitor that I want to move up. I haven't really used that in forever. And yeah, all the wires are just a complete mess. So this is what I want to sort out today. This here as well is a little side compartment that I've got with my desk. It's sort of like a bedside table, but I'm going to make this look a lot better to go along with the setup. So the first big job here was to get all the wires removed from the desk and then organised into piles of what they correspond with. I also had to remove everything from my desk, like uh, my monitor and all that. And my shelves, I had to tidy them up just in order to get the whole thing organised so I could see what I wanted to do. Right, now that that's all moved, we're going to give it a little clean. It's not too bad, to be fair. Like, I'm quite surprised, but um, yeah, I must have kept really on top of it, but yeah. So I'm going to give it a little clean, make sure that everything's nice for when I uh, for when I start setting everything up. And yeah, we should be all golden. So a bit of dusting, a bit of hoovering, and then we'll get on to setting everything up. So after the entire cleaning process, I managed to move everything back and get started on the proper stuff. So we're at the point now where the cleaning process is finished and it's all looking tidy and good again. So the next big job that we've got to move on to is wiring and uh, trust me, there's a lot of wires. Currently my Xbox is sat behind my TV so that is coming, moving over here. I've got to get the second monitor set up uh, along with phone charging cables, laptop charging cables, and um, my new lights, which I'm going to walk you through once I get them fitted. But for now, we're just going to do a bit of a mad wiring session. So I'll see you all in the time lapse. run into some minor technical difficulties and that that doesn't fit the plug. I know. What are they all doing? He's done it! So 
So at this moment in time, the desk is looking fairly sorted. I've got all the wiring done, I've cleaned it up, and I've just put everything back in its place. I'll show you a couple of uh, shots just to see what it looks like now. For the time being, I'm gonna move on to the little shelving unit that we've got here, just there, and uh, yeah, just get that sorted with a couple of bits that I wanted to add to it. So we're gonna do that now. When we got this desk many, many years ago, it came with this little wiring trough, which has just worked out an absolute treat. All the cables run underneath there. And the best thing is, when you look at the desk, what you can see the Xbox wise, that's a it. You can see here, that I've put my uh, laptop charger just because it didn't fit in that drawer, which is where I've got all the other little plugs there. So yeah, I've got the Alexa the lamp. This is my phone charger there. There are my lights. That one's the monitor, and that one is for a separate extension cable, which is underneath the desk there, which gives power to the Xbox there. So it's all looking really good at the minute. And it's all organised in here as well, it's just that charging cable, but I need to leave that free because I don't know where I want to put my phone when it's charging. I've just wrapped the charger for my MacBook there. That's all there and it's all looking tidy. And I think the finished product, close that, is looking fairly decent. So yeah, let's move on to the shelving unit. So what I'm thinking for, for when I go for this shelving unit is on this one here, we're gonna have a look at putting some like little books, maybe a couple of other little bits, like sort of like a bedside table, because obviously I sleep just there. On this shelf here, I've got a couple of football bits that I wanna do. I've got a really cool like Jamie Carragher um, poster that I got given uh, by a Rangers fan who went to a Liverpool match and he just wasn't keen on it at all, but I bought my favorite player ever probably Jamie Carragher on this last one. A little something special planned here, so let's go and see what that is. I'm gonna leave it a surprise for now, but let's see what you think. So it is the next day. And we are all finished and it's looking absolutely fantastic. Come on. So I ended up spending the rest of the day sort of like uh, getting that little area sorted out and I was just doing a, a couple of other bits like uh, fixing wiring and everything. So to walk you through this setup, I'm going to do like a little Holmes Under the Hammer style thing and uh, we're going to introduce a new character in order to help us do that. Let's go over to him right now. Hello, I'm Martin Dave and uh, welcome to Hammer's Homes. I know what you're thinking, it is summer, I am wearing a leather jacket, I am very uncomfortable. So anyway, today we are looking at the setup as done by a lovely chap called HMC underscore 23 and with help of my trusty tripod cameraman, we are going to be checking out this setup and everything that's involved with this. Yes, budget has been stripped and uh, we had to get rid of some staff, so I'm just doing this with my tripod today. Well, first we visit the shelving area. Now this is a fantastic piece of work. Now don't be alarmed, yes I am in shorts. It's not because of poor lazy design and costumes. Uh, it's mainly because it's been a tough few years and uh... Anyway, on the top shelf we have a bedside table styled area. We've got a collection of fine literature, 
a watch and some headphones there so everything you need to get prepared for a good night's sleep. On the second shelf we have a Champions League football from Sports Direct. Obviously a great deal of budget uh, has been spent there and also we've got a Liverpool flag and the Jamie Carragher poster. What a fantastic thing that is. And what we can tell about this person that is they're obviously a slob. There are 17 empty plastic bottles there. I have been told in the script that this is the prime station, the innovation station, the innovation creation station. Kenstein Logan Paul have been such inspirations to him and that he wants to aim towards something like this. I mean, this is just a fantastic piece of work. I mean, he's really, uh, he's really pushed the boat out on design here. Yeah, so that's the shelving station. And we now move over to the desk station. You join me on the floor. Now here we've got an Xbox for all those gaming exploits. Up here we've got some shelves. Here we've got a laptop and here we've got a monitor with some lights at the side. Now they've gone for a clean finish on the desk. Very dust free as I've been told. He dusted it at least three times yesterday. On here we've got a game called Rocket League now. He must be a seven year old because I can't imagine anyone older that would play this game. And over here we've got his laptop which he runs all of his recording out of. On here we have a fun channel, it's called HMC underscore 23. Now it's got 74 subscribers and uh, I think we should push that to 100 for him. Because I like big round numbers especially when I'm involved. I'm being told that I'm getting a good cut from whatever he makes. And behind him we've got the lights. These are Gobi lights. And they're absolutely fantastic. They can produce any colour you want, any design you want. Of course, I'm so interesting that the, uh, the monitor has decided to go a dark colour, indicating that it's getting bored. Yeah. Anyway, that's the setup, everyone. I'm going to hand you back over to my esteemed colleague to go in more detail about what is on this setup. Anyway, thank you very much. So Bart and Dave there, everyone, giving us a bit of an insight into what this setup's all about. This section's for the nerds, just in case they want to know what I'm packing in this setup. And let me tell you, there's not a great deal, if I'm being completely honest. But anyway, let's get into that right now. So in this drawer, what we've got is we've got a little extension lead, which uh, runs through um, power to most of my things. It's got power to the Xbox uh, the monitor phone charger, uh, it's got me light and my Alexa on that one as well. Uh, in here is just a little stationary drawer and I also keep some of my equipment in here so I've got a two terabyte hard drive in there and I've got an Elgato HD60S which is what I record all my games through. I run all of my editing through this laptop here and I run through all my games there and I sometimes connect a HDMI cable from the laptop to the monitor so that I can uh, have a second monitor as it is and uh, so it, which makes it a bit more streamlined for editing and that. And then we've got over here the Govi lights which as um, Martin mentioned before they uh, can go any colour that I want and make this setup look really special. So there we go, that's my brand new setup. I say brand new, it's probably just, the correct term's probably more organized. But anyway, it's looking much better, it's much more streamlined, and hopefully it makes things faster for me to get content out to you guys. So the only thing left to say really is thank you for watching. Please like the video and click that subscribe button. It massively helps me out I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers as soon as we possibly can. We're almost there, we're on 74 subscribers. So if you could get me there, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If you want to know more about the setup, then just leave a comment below and I'll try and reply with my best answer to any of your questions. I'm not the biggest tech whiz, so yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, everyone.